watching the documentary and seeing Aaron Carter on on mm-hmm. film was really hard for me. Yeah. Knowing him as an eight year old or a nine year old mm-hmm. that I did. He sold, like he said, five million albums before he turns ten. Yeah. He reminded me of one of the characters in Leaving Neverland, Leaving Neverland, the Michael Jackson doc, in that he had seems to not have come to terms yet. He really he is an advocate for Lou mm-hmm. in this documentary. Were you surprised by that? I was surprised. Um, you know, when when he was going to do the interview, uh, we kind of had to fight for him to to be in the film because he wasn't part of like a, bo- a band, you know, boy band. Um, but we knew that he had great stories because if anyone, he's the closest to Lou at such a young age. Um, so we thought him deciding to do this, he was going to really tell some insane stories that we've always heard rumors about. So we were trying to get some confirmation finally, but it didn't happen that way. He defended him with every breath. Um, you could see the torment still in him and you have to believe him i mean you i mean if i'm you know they're sitting in this chair and they're you know speaking their truths i mean you you have to believe what he says so if he says they didn't have anything happen with lou then i i believe him 